Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Mehdi. I'm a dental surgeon practicing in Toronto, Ontario. I'm also the head instructor and founder of Confidentist Group in Canada. In this video, I want to talk with you guys about everything that you need to know to prepare yourself for the second exam in the equivalency process, which is the assessment of clinical judgment. The ACJ exam is a 120 to 150 multiple choice question, which is a computer-based test, and it includes single and multiple answer, multiple choice questions. So the exam is uh, given in a five hour sessions and being held in Prometric centers. So the first thing that you need to know about this exam is that the exam is a computer based one. So you should have very good skills, especially at uh, reading the radiographs on the uh, screen of the computer. So let's review the subjects that are being asked in this exam. The first group is the pharmacology and drug prescription pathology, endodontics, periodontics, orthodontics, oral surgery and local anesthesia. And also there are some questions from topics such as diagnostic test, patient management and medical emergencies. So first, let's discuss more about the cases questions. So in this exam, we have usually something around 135 to 140 questions. Out of these questions, around 50 to 50 questions are related to the cases, and 80 to 85 questions are the radiology questions. So based on what I said, I believe the three most important topics that you should be really, really good at for this exam include drug prescription and pharmacology, because usually each case requires uh, the evaluation of a prescription, Second, pedantics, and the third, pathology, because each case comes definitely with each of these questions. Okay, so let's take a look at the NDB website and the protocol which is published on the NDB website. I highly advise you guys to go and definitely study the protocol in details. Very, very important, okay? So according to the NDB website and according to the ACJ blueprint, 22% of questions are coming from pharmacology and 28% of questions from oral medicine, oral pathology, oral surgery. Then we have periodontics with 15% questions and also we have endodontics, orthodontics and pediatric dentistry, cardiology and restorative dentistry. So let's see how the questions look like in reality based on what NDB has in its website. So I'm just discussing this part and coding this part from the ACJ protocol year 2022-2023. So there are in the general two types of questions. So we have the single correct answer questions and also the multiple correct answer questions. So the single and the single correct answer questions are technically the easier ones because you just have to choose one correct answer and all the other options are wrong. And just remember that in the ACG exam, each question comes sometimes with more than 10 options. So for example, look at this question, the most likely diagnosis for the entity shown in the picture. And you need to only select, let's say hemangioma or gingival cyst. So you get a full score and all the other options are incorrect. So in the exam, you are not allowed to choose more than one option in these questions. The second group of questions that is, are called actually one or more correct answers are the, the, the more difficult and the trickier ones. Because in these questions, we have three types of answers. So a group of answers for which you get a full mark or a partial mark. The second group are the ones that are called uh, like zero questions, which means neutral options, for which you don't get any credit. And the third groups are the ones that you get minus one, meaning that if you select those options, you're gonna get uh, zero for the full for the whole question so you lose actually the mark for the question and 
you should be you should stay away from selecting those options. So take a look at this example. So in this example, which is um, like related to a radiology, if you select these three options, you're going to get the full mark, the total mark, which is one. If you select a wrong option, which is this one, for instance, even if you select all the three options that I mentioned, still your score is zero. So by selecting one completely wrong option, the full score for the, that question becomes a zero. Okay. So take a look at another example here on the NDB website. And just remember, the majority of questions that you get in the radiology part of the exam are they belong to the second group of questions in which you have to select one or more correct answers. A question that many of you may have is what should I study for this exam? So if you check the NDB website, there are over 120 references introduced for the ACJ, but it's not practical to go over all of them. So for each subject, I introduce one textbook and you, can, you guys can go and check the link to this video to find out more about those references. So starting from pharmacology and drug prescription, I think the best references that we have are um, the one by Yagiela, which is the principles of pharmacology. So you can go through that one. Also, uh, the oral surgery and local anesthesia, go with the one with uh, Dr. Hopp, which is the contemporary oral and maxillofacial surgery. And also the reference by Malamet uh, for local anesthesia is really, really helpful. For patient management, uh, I suggest you guys to check Little and Fallas, uh, the reference for the patient management in dentistry. Medical emergencies, the best reference would be the one by Dr. Malamet, and also you can check the contemporary oral and maxillofacial surgery. Uh, for pathology, Neville is the best source. For periodontics, obviously, the, the, the first choice would be Carenza. Endodontics, uh, my suggestion is to go through Principles of Endodontics by Dr. Trabi Najat. Uh, lastly, we have Diagnostic Tests and Orthodontics for Diagnostic Tests. My suggestion is Pathway of Pulp by Cohen. And for Orthodontics, I think the best reference, references that we have are Profit and also Graeber. To wrap up everything that I discussed so far today, and many more will be discussed at our very comprehensive ACJ course at Confidentist. Over the past 10 years, we successfully helped hundreds of international trained dentists to clear the ACJ exam. A very important component of our course is actually our Confi Notes. The Confi Notes contain everything that you need to know in order to prepare for the ACJ exam. Uh, the latest edition of our country notes, which is actually the 16th edition, includes the latest update on the classification of periodontal disease and also the ICCM classification for the caries diagnosis and management, which both are really, really important for this exam. Another essential key factor of our course is actually our, our mock exams. So we also created some very high quality mock exams that are computer based and gives you a good idea that how the questions are gonna be like in the real exam. So I hope to see you all guys at our online or live courses and wish you guys all the best regardless. So hope to see you soon, thank you.